Hello guys and welcome back. It's another Sunday. We have another tutorial and I did this very graphic, dramatic look. I used a lot of liner and for me this is the perfect Instagram look because it's quite contoured the face, uh, the nose and lots of, you know, happening on the eyes and lips. So let's get started. <laughs> As you well know, I like to start with the eye looks, so I'm first priming my eyelids with the Soft Ochre from MAC. This is a paint pot and I'm applying it directly with my finger. And then to my inner corners, I like to apply some concealer. This is the perfect match from L'Oreal in the lighter shade. And I'm doing this just to lift some shadows around the areas where I've applied it. Afterwards, I like to set those areas where I've applied those products and I'm using here a eyeshadow from Art Deco. It's a very light shade, which is not going to interfere with the eye look afterwards. Also, the fluffy brush I'm using here is from NYX for the eyelids. Then for the eye look, I'm taking a Chanel Quad, which is in 08 Vanité. And first I'm taking that shade for the whole lid. And the brush I'm using here is a 228 from Zoeva. By the way, this is a Chanel original palette, but sometimes I buy refills because they are just cheaper like this. And then I put them into um, a case I already have. When I'm finished with that, I'm taking the Dusty Rose, um, this one, and I'm applying this mainly to the outer corners, but I'm also going inwards into the crease area. I haven't changed brushes. This is the same 228 from Ziva, and I'm wiggling this into the crease area. I don't want any streakiness there, so I'm applying layer by layer. This is the best way to apply eyeshadow in general. The next step is to intensify the same areas with this darker shadow, which is like a mauve shade. And uh, the brush I'm using here is from BD Loom Tools. I'm going a bit more inwards this time, but just in general, I'm not going above the last shadow I've used. I found this particular eyeshadow to be a bit streaky, which is surprising to me. But yeah, I worked with it and I left it like this in the end because I just didn't want to erase everything and do it new. It was quite interesting interesting the application of this eyeshadow because although I did put an eyelid primer and then I set it afterwards quite good I did have patches where the eyeshadow didn't stick to needless to say this is not going into my kit I am not going to use this on my clients because it's just too much work and um, although the colors look amazing the application well it left to be desired I've collected quite a few quads from this range uh, from Chanel and they are all really good. But this, well, I've said enough. You got the point. After cleaning up underneath the eyes, I'm taking the lighter shadow from the quad, which is a bit shimmery. And I'm applying it to the area which I've left bare. And the brush I'm using here is actually a concealer brush from Kiko, but it's flat and stiff and it's perfect for this purpose. Then for my liner, I'm taking the perfect slim eyeliner from L'Oreal in black and I'm going to go all the way with this. I'm going to make a long flick. I'm going to make it quite thick. So yeah, just stay with me, bear with me and you'll see what I mean.
to fill my brows in and to shape them a bit, I'm going to use a brow shadow from Art Deco in the shade 5. And the brush is a 263 from MAC. So when I'm using brow powders, I always like to go with some kind of brow gel through the hairs of my brows because they just don't listen to me. They just don't stay put. Um, I need to set them and this time I'm using a bobby brow. Yep, yeah, a bobby brow. There are just too much brows in this sentence. It became a tongue twister. So one more time, a bobby brown brow gel in clear. And then for the upper lashes, I'm using this mascara from L'Atelier Maquillage in black. So for now I'm going to leave the eyes and move on to the face which I'm going to beat, you know what, I'm going to beat it the Instagram way. And first I'm priming my face, I'm using here a L'Oreal Indefectible Primer and I'm applying it with a Real Techniques Dampened Sponge. My foundation today is surprisingly not a full coverage one, but I am going to apply a few layers of this and make it look Instagrammy. And this is in NC20. You can see it's a very watery one. And then I am pressing this into my skin with the same sponge from Rio Techniques. And I'm taking the same concealer from L'Oreal in the lighter shade because of course this is an Instagram look and it has to be. And I'm putting this onto key areas underneath the eyes, along the nose at the base of it and then on the highest point of my cheekbone. Uh, along the nose, on the forehead just a bit, you know, a bit and on the chin. For working the product out I'm using a small Real Techniques dampened sponge. One of my favorite setting powders is this one from RCMA. It's a loose powder and I'm applying this with a cone shaped brush, something like this. Um, it's very dense and because of that, it packs on the product very good. I'm using it to set all the areas where I've applied my concealer and I'm being quite generous right now with the product. And then I'm going to take a fluffier angled brush from Kiko um, to set the rest of my face. I think my face has never seen so much powder on it in its entire life, but it's a Instagram look, so it has to be done. Next step is to bronze up my skin, so I'm using here a bronzer from Burberry in the shade 03. I'm putting this along the cheekbone, just the slightest bit above it and the most of it underneath and I'm stopping where my pupils are. Then with the same product I'm going around the hairline and along the jawline because I want to slim it down to make it look, you know, more chiseled and slim. For contouring underneath the cheekbones, I'm going to take a sculpting powder which is in Sculpt and this is from MAC and the brush is the same one from Kiko. Mm. 
Now, as you well know, for the nose contouring, I always like to mix the sculpting powder with the bronzer because it's just a more neutral color. And I'm applying this with the tip of the same brush from Kiko. For my blusher, I went with this loose one, a beautiful color. It's called Perfect Rose from Bare Minerals. And I took it on a multitask Real Techniques brush. I like to start putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then swiping it across the cheekbone. I went with a heavy hand just like with all the products I've used today because it has to be more it has to be more than the usual um, but normally I just like to go with a small amount just to make me look alive and healthy for the glow I went with this palette from Colourpop and I took this shade which is like a peachy one and I applied it with a fan brush from Ziva along the cheekbone above of it and then above of the brows as well along the nose, cupid's bow and chin. Then in a very smoky way, I applied a matte black from Stargazer underneath the eyes along the lash line. The brush I'm using here is from Kiko, a pen brush. I like to take a clean small details brush like this to swipe it along the lower edge because that's going to give you more haziness and smokiness in that area. In the waterline goes then a long lasting eye pencil from Essence in the shade rather be a unicorn which is a beautiful duochromed shade. To coat my lower lashes I always like to use a waterproof mascara which surprise surprise no surprise actually, it's the Extended Play Mascara in Black from MAC. For lashes I went with dramatic ones, they are from Fashion Eyelashes, they are made of um, horse hair and they flare out at the outer corners and as I like to do I like to curl them before applying them because I can control the curling degree and I also can curl them from the bend upwards. Then for lips, I'm using a double-ended liquid lipstick from Kiko, which is in the shade 104. One end is the lipstick and the other one is a clear gloss. On top of the lipstick goes this Extreme Resist Gloss from L'Oreal in the shade 505, just on the middle of it, just to make it pop and more full looking. So everyone, this was my Instagram look. I hope you liked it. As always, if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on social media. I am on Instagram, on Facebook and on Vero. That is new. And I am going to see you in my next tutorial. Until then, stay safe. Bye.